Good morning. Just now I have seen your profile. It looks good. Uh, uh, could you explain, tell me about yourself? Hi, sir. Good morning. Uh, myself, Saumya. First of all, thanks to give me the opportunity to introduce myself. I have completed my degree in SR College at Nagarkoil. I have knowledge of Linux and some programming languages. My short term goal is uh, to get a job in a, for a reputa reputation company. And uh, my long term goal is to get a big position in my company. And once again, thanks for giving me, giving me the opportunity. That's all about myself, sir. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, let me start the question. Uh, could you explain how Linux and Linux is same? Ah, yes, sir. Um, I will explain. Uh, Linux is not Unix, but it is an operating system that is similar to Unix. The operating system is derived from Unix and is a continuation of the Unix design. The most well-known and healthy examples of the direct Unix derivatives uh, are Linux distributions. So, uh, BSD, uh, BSD in the sense Barclay uh, software distribution is another Unix uh, derivative. So, that's all about Good. Yeah. How do you understand Linux structure? Ah, uh, yes, sir. The kernel, uh, system library, uh, and the hardware layer, system, and the shell functions make up the majority of the Linux architecture. So the kernel is a fundamental component of an operating system. Uh, it is in charge of all the primary functions of Linux operating system. So Linux provides a standard file. Uh, structure for organizing system and user files. Uh, Shell Linux uh, includes a special uh, interpreter program. So that can be used to execute the operating system commands. Uh, it will, I mean, it can be used to perform various oper operations such as calling uh, application programs. Okay, good. Uh, can you explain differentiate between uh, Linux and Unix? Yes, sir. I will explain. Yeah, are you able to understand the differentiate between uh, and Unix? Uh, could you please uh, uh, repeat one more thing? Yeah, differentiate. Differentiate between Linux and Unix. Mm, yes, sir. I will explain. Okay. So, uh, you said Linux, difference between Linux and Unix, right? Uh, Linux is an open source software development and a free operating system used for computer hardware and software game development uh, like uh, PCs also. Coming to Unix, Unix is an operating system which is basically used in Intel, HP, Internet servers, etc. Uh, so next coming to Linux, Linux has priced as well as uh, freely distributed and downloaded versions. But in that Unix, different versions and flavors of Unix have a different price structures users of this operating system i mean coming to linux uh, users of this operating system could be anyone including hope users developers also but coming to the unix this operating system was basically developed for mainframe servers and workstations except for os or osx which is designed such a, uh, such that it can be used by anyone okay so by uh, coming to linux in the sense File if, uh, support system includes uh, EXT2, EXT3, EXT4, J, JFS, XFS, BTRFS, FAT, so etc. But you, coming to the Unix, Unix uh, uh, in the sense file support system includes JFS, GPFS, HFS, and etc. Uh, so uh, again, I'm coming to Linux. Uh, it's a bash. Uh, I mean bash in the sense. Uh, in the sense uh, both uh, bony again shell. So uh, is the Linux default shell text mode interface which supports multiple command interpreters. But uh, once coming to the Unix in the sense, bony shell, uh, I mean bony shell serves as the text mode interface which is now compatible with many others including Bash. So coming to the Linux provides uh, two GUIs and KDE and Genome. But uh, coming to the Unix, common desktop environment was created which serves as a GUI for like Unix. Yeah, differentiate, okay. Uh, can you explain one example for uh, Linux and Unix? Okay, sir. So I, I'll explain. The example for uh, Linux, 
uh, Red Hat, Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian. Uh, example for uh, Unix, uh, Solaris, and all Linux. Okay. That's all difference between Linux and Unix. Sir. Question. Yeah. Um, it lists the basic components of uh, Linux. Ah, yes, sir. I will explain. Uh, Linux operating system basically consists of three components. They are kernel, system library, and system utility. So uh, when I am taking the kernel in the sense, this is considered as a uh, core part and is, is responsible for all major activities of the Linux operating system. Uh, Linux kernel is uh, considered as a free and open source software that is capable of managing hardware uh, resources of for the users. Uh, it consists of uh, various modules and interact directly with the underlying hardware. So coming to the system library, most of the functionalities of the operating system are implemented by system libraries. So these act as a special function using which applications, programs, access uh, kernel features. So coming to the system utility, so these programs are responsible for performing specialized individual level tasks. So that's all about uh, basic components of Linux, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you explain briefly why we use Linux? Oh, okay, sir. I will explain. Linux is widely uh, used. I mean, used widely because. It is completely different from other operating system where every aspects come with uh, something extra. That, that I mean extra that is uh, some additional features. Um, I mean some of the major uh, reasons to use Linux. Uh, this time I'm going to explain. Uh, it is an open source operating system where programmers uh, get the advantage of designing their own custom OS and the software i mean software and the server licensing required to install linux is completely free and can be installed on many computers as required it has low or minimum but uh, but controllable issues with uh, viruses and uh, malware etc so it is highly secure and supports uh, multiple file system so that's all about uh, we use linux system sir okay uh, what are the features of the linux operating system uh, sorry, sir, could you repeat again? Yeah, I can explain and list the features of the of Linux operating system. You understand? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> you said features of the Linux operating mm -hmm. system. Yeah. Uh, Linux kernel and application programs can be installed on any kind of hardware, pro I mean, hardware platform. And thus, thus are considered portable. So it serves the purpose of multitasking by serving various function, functions simultaneously. It provides security services in three ways, namely authentication, uh, namely uh, like uh, authentication, authorization, and the encryption. It supports multiple users to access the same system, uh, same system resource, but by using different terminals for operation. Uh, Linux provides a hierarchical file system and its code is uh, freely available to all. It is, I mean, it has its, uh, it, ha it has its own uh, application support. I mean, to, to download and install applications and the customized keyboards. Linux, uh, I mean, uh, distros provide live CD slash USB uh, to their users for uh, installation. So that's all about. It. Okay, would you explain Lilo? Uh, you mean LILO? Oh, yeah. Ah, LILO in the sense Linux loader. It's the, uh, it's the boot loader for the Linux operating system. Uh, allowing it to load into main memory and begin operations. The boot loader is a small program that manages dual boot booting. So LILO lives in MPR. MPR in the sense a master boot record. So it, it's a main advantage is that it allows uh, Linux to boot uh, quickly when installed in the MPR. Uh, it, its limitations, uh, like uh, from the fact, uh, I mean, from the fact uh, the, that not uh, that that not all computers can tolerate MPR notification. No, sorry, MPR modification. So that's all about LILO. Yeah, okay. Uh, can you explain the virtual desktop? Ah, yes, I will explain. 
uh, when there are multiple windows open on the current desktop and uh, problem of minimizing and maximizing the windows or restoring all current programs arises I like a virtual desktop serves uh, as an alternative so it allows it allows you to start one or more programs from the scratch so like virtual des desktops uh, are basically stored on your remote server and serve the following benefits cost savings uh, i mean uh, cost savings as the uh, resources can be shared and allocated as the as and when required mm, and uh, resources and the energy are more efficiently used uh, data integrity is improved and uh, centralized administration and also fewer compatibility issues that's all about uh, virtual de desktop sir okay uh, could you explain the term CLI, command line interface. Uh, yes, I will explain. Actually, uh, CLI stands for command line interface. Uh, so, it is a way of, uh, way for humans to interact with computers. It is also known as the command line user interface. It relies on textual, uh, I mean, textual uh, request and response transaction process where user types uh, declarative commands to instruct the computer to perform all the operations. So, in that uh, CLI, once you are, we can go with the advantages in the sense, it is very flexible and can easily access command and uh, much more faster and easy to use by export. It does not use much CPU processing time also. But uh, in that CLI, we have uh, many advantages here. So, advantage, dis sorry, disadvantages. Disadvantages in the sense learning and re remembering, remember, remember, uh, I mean, uh, remembering the type commands is hard. And they have to be typed uh, precisely, uh, and it can be very confusing, uh, suffering web and uh, graphics, etc., or a few tasks that are hard or impossible to do on the command line, sir. So that's all about uh, CLI. Okay. Now, what are the different modes uh, when we are using the VA editor? Ah, yes, actually. Uh, there are three different kinds of modes in VA editor or enlisted below. Uh, command mode, uh, regular command mode and uh, insertion mode and uh, EX mode. Command mode in the sense, regular mode. Insertion mode in the sense, edit mode. EX mode in the sense, replacement mode. So that's all about uh, different modes when you, when you are using the VA editor. Okay, good. Um... Yeah, imagine explain for job that you have in current environment okay and why it is okay uh, a cron a cron job execute a script that runs various command on a web server as required by the software being hosted a cron job is used by cms platforms uh, like a and uh, uh, drupal in web publishing for uh, scheduling automated tasks related to module functionality and maintenance. So requiring a uh, web server and I mean uh, requiring web server configuration also. Cron, job, uh, cron jobs uh, can be very useful automated repetitive task. For example, you, you can set a cron job to delete temporary files every week to conserve your disk space. Okay, so some programs such as uh, Drup Drupal and uh, may require you to set up a cron job to perform certain functions. So that's all about uh, cron job, sir. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, can you explain briefly Selinux? Yes. Um, first of all, Selinux in the sense security enhanced Linux. It's a security architecture for a Linux systems that allows administrators to have more control over who can uh, access the system. So it was origin, uh, originally developed by the United State, States, na, I mean, National Security Agency, and we call this the NSA, as a series uh, series of patches to the Linux kernel using, uh, line, uh, using Linux security modules. So that means the LSM. So that's all about Selinux. Okay. Um, from yourself, how will you check the CPU utilization? Uh, yes, sir. You can check how your CPU is being used with the H, H stop command. Okay. So this prints our uh, sorry, this print uh, re, our real time uh, information that includes include task threads and uh, load average uptime and the usage for your CPU. So that's 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 all about it. Okay. Uh, 
CP is localization. Come on. Next question. Uh, could you explain what is the recent issue you have faced in your relaxed thing? Uh, yes. Um, I, I have faced for the for uh, same, uh, same, I mean, same file system DF and DU come and show different disk usage. But the solution is this could be, uh, I mean, because uh, because of open file deletion, that is when someone to delete log file uh, that is being used of, uh, used or opened by uh, other processes. If we try to delete this file and the file name will be deleted, but, it, but it's uh, inode and the data will not be deleted. So with the help of the command called as LSOF. Okay. So the command we can determine the deleted files of and the variable that are still open. Okay. The command uh, I can tell me the, the command start with the dollar symbol LSOF space last variable and uh, uh, the command E grep. Grep, and inside the quote we can mention command uh, slash deleted. So this is the command for, uh, I mean, uh, I, I, this is the solution for my uh, scenario. And uh, so uh, uh, to release the space, uh, we can kill the command uh, with its uh, PID using kill command. That's all about the, I have faced a recent uh, issue in my Linux environment, sir. That's all about. Okay, so yeah, your explanation is good. Yeah, okay, I will hand over the data to HR team, uh, then we'll get back to you. Okay, uh, thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you.